Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your grade 12 probability. Today, in our first past paper video, we are looking at a past paper written by the Northwest in September 2022. So without any waste of time, let's open the paper and get our distinctions. Okay, here's the paper to pin it. All right, then let's go. All right. Perfect. Uh, by the way, guys, if you are using a mobile device, please make sure that you rotate your screen so you have a maximum viewing. So this is an exam question paper, or this is an exam question. So I'm going to read some um, instructions that I find relevant. Um, in this paper, I'm going to start with instruction number four that says clearly show all calculations, diagrams, graphs, etc. that you have used in determining your answers. This is very important, guys, because sometimes you struggle to get your answers because you want to use a short space, all right? You want to use a short space in your answer book and it doesn't really give you much of the results that you desire. So please show all your calculations if necessary. Instruction number five, answers only will not necessarily be awarded full marks. Okay. Answers only will not necessarily be awarded full marks. And if necessary, that's instruction number seven. If necessary, round off answers to two decimal places unless they tap otherwise. All right. Um, so we go into probability which is normally question 10, 11, or 12. Let's see. In this paper, it was question 10. So let's go. Question 10. It says, a survey was conducted among 220 students at a university. So the sample space here is 220. Okay. Um, was, okay, um, at a university the results are shown below 40 students study physical sciences it's important 40 students study physical sciences okay cool i'm gonna get back to that or uh, maybe let me do this i'm just gonna draw this venn diagram i'm gonna come back to it mm, this is ugly okay. yeah this is ugly let me just do this oh yeah this is a perfect circle mm, i don't even know if this is a circle Yep. Okay, so this is P, this is M, this is C. Right, cool. Oh, and we are given X, but it's okay. So 117 students study mathematics, 21 students study physical sciences and commercial sciences. So physical sciences and commercial sciences, 21 of the students. So this X includes the 21. So it means I'm going to fill this using a red color. It means here it'll be 21 minus x. Okay. Proceeding 20, um, 53 students study mathematics and commercial sciences. 53 students study mathematics and commercial sciences. So this portion here must be 53, but already x is out. So it means we are left with 53 minus x. Okay. Perfect. Now, 12 students study physical sciences and mathematics. 12 students study physical sciences and mathematics. So this portion here is physical sciences and mathematics. So it means now that X is out, it means we are left with 12 minus X. Okay, because remember the total of it must be 12. So 12 minus X plus X will be 12. 50 students do not study physical sciences, mathematics, or commercial sciences. Where are they? 50. They are here. Okay. Now, X students study physical sciences, mathematics, and commercial sciences. Interest. All right. So, now we need to know the number of students that are studying physical sciences only, mathematics only, and commercial sciences only. So, we are given for physical sciences, it's 40. So I'm going to say P only. Let me just call it P only. Okay. P only plus what is this? 
21 minus x plus x plus 12 minus x equals what is the total of physical sciences students it is 40 equals 40 all right so p only equals um let's see or maybe let me not erase it this will be 12 let's see 12 plus 21 will be 33 so it'll be plus 33 minus x equals 40 okay i'm gonna go to the next page when i go to the next page this is p only equals let's see 40 minus 40 minus 33 will be 7 plus x okay so this is 7 plus x so let me fill in this information here physical sciences only int 7 plus x okay now i'm gonna go to maths mathematics mathematics i'm gonna say math only Met only plus x plus 53 minus x i remember yes 53 minus x plus 12 minus x plus 12 minus x equals 117 right equals 170 so met only met only will be plus 65 65 minus x equals 117 so met only those that are studying met only is um 35 this must be 52 okay this must be 52 plus x so this is 52 plus x you guys have calculated us right so met only is 52 plus x so this part here is 52 plus x okay perfect now commercial sciences only commercial sciences only still x plus 52 ah no sorry 53 minus x oh 53 minus x 5 plus 53 minus x plus i forgot 21 minus x right 21 minus x 21 minus x the total of those that are doing commercial sciences is 90. so commercial sciences only commercial sciences only plus 53 plus 21 will be 74 74 minus x equals 90 so commercial sciences only is equal to um 16 i believe isn't it yes it's 16 plus x 90 minus 74 is 16. so commercial sciences only 16 plus x 16 plus x okay so <laughs> now let's see copy the venn diagram below in your answer book and then represent the above information on it here is it we have done that okay we have done that now calculate the value of x calculate the value of 10.2 calculate the value of x i should have done this um this is 10.1 so this is 10.1 10.2 calculate the value of x a number of students that study all three courses did you guys hear that a number of students that study all three courses now remember guys what we need to do we need to take the number of students that are studying all these courses in other words p p a number of p or m or c okay so what is this so this will be if you like 10.2 if you like let me do it in this way if you like guys you can um say all this number um is equal to, or all of these is equal to 220 minus 50 which is like 170 okay or you can include 170 and say it is equal to this so let's also include the 50 okay so let me show you it'll be what is this i remember we had um seven plus x plus x plus i'm looking at p only for now plus x 
plus 12 minus x plus 12 minus x plus what else plus 21 minus x plus 21 minus x okay so i'm done with i'm done with p now i'm gonna go to c because i've already included 21 minus x and x i don't have to write them again i'm gonna take 16 plus x and 53 minus x 16 plus x plus 53 minus x plus I've already covered 53 minus x, I've already covered x, I've already covered 12 minus x. So I'm only going to include that 52 plus x. 52 plus x plus those that are not doing any of these subjects plus 50. What is the total of students? It is 220. It is 220. Okay. Let's see. x plus x is 2x minus x is x minus x is 0 plus x is x minus x is 0 x okay so this is x now we have to use a calculator we can't 7 plus 12 plus 21 plus 16 plus 53 plus 52 plus 50 is 211 equals 220 okay so when you add the constants here, it'll be, they will add up to 211. So x plus 211 is equal to 220. Now, this therefore means x equals 9. We are done. Okay, this means x equals 9. We are done. 10.3. 10.3 says, if a student was selected at the random, calculate the probability that he or she studies only one of the courses. I hope you guys know this probability that you're studying one of the courses, only one probability of only one course. Okay. Probability of only one course. Okay. Probability of only one course. What does it mean? It means you must add, uh, you must take P only, M only and C only. What is P only? P only was seven plus X. So this is, let me write here. This is seven plus nine. What is M only? M only is 52 plus X, which is 52 plus 9. 52 plus 9. What is commercial sciences only? 16 plus X, which is 16 plus 9. 16 plus 9. And what is the total of students? The total of students is 220. Taking out our calculators. 7 plus 9. Alpha. Um, taking out my calculator, 27 plus 7 plus 52 plus 16, all over 220, add all over 220, what do we get? We get 51, we get 51, or maybe before I do that, let me do this, before I do that, let me do this, so this is 102 over 220. So 102 over 220 is 51 over 110. You can leave it here or you can take it to decimals. It's okay, but we can leave it here. So this is the probability that only uh, a student studies only one of the courses, All right? So this is probability of phys uh, physical sciences only, probability of mathematics only probability of commercial sciences only okay perfect now we are done with this question i hope you guys understood it now let's go to question 11. now question 11 question 11 mm, this one i like it my favorite okay it's my favorite now um question 11 it says the coach of a hockey of a first hockey team wants to take a photo of his team. There are 11 players in his team where the captain, vice captain, and another five players are in grade 12. And the other five and the other four rather, are in grade 11. The 11 players placed are placed randomly in a row to take a photo. 11.1. .1. In how many ways can the coach move the 11 players for the first photo? 
if the captain should not sit at one of the ends. So here's a thing that I want you guys to understand. We have 11 play. We have 11 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The captain can sit here. And then you will be left with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Or the captain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So all the captain can sit here. In other words, the captain can sit on the left, right on the left end, or on the right end. It's still one, and then you have 10 blah blah right 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right so what is this what we know if there was no if there was no control of where the captain can sit we know that these students they will sit in 11 factorial ways but now they cannot really sit in 11 factorial ways right because the captain should sit at the end and there is a left end and a right end. So that means for this, we can say, in fact, when I look at it, it is the same thing, but repeated twice. So we'll say this is 2 times 10 factorial. I hope you guys see this. Remember, if this question is not asking us in how many ways can, um, what is this? Um, it's not asking us in how many ways can the captain sit um, on the right end. Right? It's not asking us that. It's not even asking us in how many ways can um, he sit on the end. No, 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 no. It is asking us in how many ways can he not sit. So since in it says can he not or can she not sit at one of the ends, it means we must take um, the total of when there's no order and when the captain is sitting at the end. So let's get our answer. What is it? 11 factorial. minus 2 times 10 factorial what is our answer our answer is mm, oh we're using case you it doesn't break this thing down so okay 659 200 ways okay so it means the captain can um the uh, the coach can arrange this team in this way in 32,659,200 ways. And I, they say this is how we should call these numbers. It's 2,659,200 ways. Okay. So this is the number of ways in which um, this team can be, or this photo can be arranged. Okay. Ooh. Happy. So this is that instruction show diagrams and calculations that you have used in order to reach your answers now 11.2 11.2 is an interesting one for me 11.2 is an interesting one for me so they say for the second photo the captain and the vice captain must sit in any uh, must sit in any in any order on the fifth and sixth chair let me read this for the second photo the captain and the vice captain must sit in any order on the fifth or sixth chair so let's do this i'm going to show you this so this is now i'm going to say for the sample space okay for the sample space okay i will say one two okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we are saying the captain one two three four five so for the fifth place and the sixth place, one of them can sit. Now, if we are seeing one of uh, both are sitting on the fifth and sixth, what does it mean? It means you are left with what? You are left with remember two is out. You are left with nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. This is the captain and their vice. All right. So you are left with. nine places to arrange the others so now for the sample space you can say this guy is when you look at it it is two times nine factorial all right that is the sample space now the event that we're looking at is this one now so what is the probability that a grade 12 learner will sit on the 
first on the first chair and a grade 11 learner on the last chair Ooh, let's do this so now for the event now for the event e we'll say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five is the captain and vice so what is this this is two one all right it's two and one now they say the grade 12 learner will sit on the first chair so this is grade 12 learner so this is grade 12 learner so this is captain and vice let me call them vc captain and vice and the grade 11 player must sit on the last chair so this would be grade 11 right this must be grade 11 remember guys captain and vice are from grade 12 right so let's do this for grade 11 how many grade 11s are there there are four grade 11s so it means for this seat there must be we have a choice of four learners to choose from right now for for this seat um how many this is a grade 12 and how many have we do we have available two is out and we know that um what we are having here is that we have seven from grade 12 so two is out it means here we have five all right it means here we have five of the grade 12s that we have to choose from now in this remaining seat it doesn't matter in this remaining seat it doesn't matter who sits where whether grade 10 or 11 it doesn't matter so let's see how many are we left with one two three four it means we are left with seven so it'll be seven six five four three two one so now our number of outcomes of this event will be five times when i look at this let's say five times two okay five times two factorial is if that's okay times four times seven factoria therefore our probability of this event will be as you know probability is number of event over sample space so what is this this will be five times and we say four times two factorial times seven factorial all over i think we said that one was two times nine factorial if you're wondering why i'm saying two factorial this is the two factorial now, if you're wondering why i'm saying seven factorial this guy and these guys can you see that seven five seven six five four three two one it's seven factorial now what is our answer now we can get our answer it will be five times four times two times 50 40 all over 2 times 9 factorial what do we get we get 5 over 18 so this is our probability that a grade 12 player will sit on the first chair and a grade 11 player on the last chair provided that the vice and the captain are sitting in any order on their fifth and sixth chair so this is how you attempt your questions guys and because this is from the northwest i will conclude it in the style of um with that being said so this is it guys i hope you have enjoyed this lesson and if you have questions do not forget to get in touch with us you can visit our website www.ramtasolutions.co.za in the very same website you will see all these icons including a whatsapp icon if you click on any of them it will direct you to direct contact with us. This one to our email address. Perhaps you're looking for a tutor. And of course, you're watching on YouTube. You can get in touch with us. You can like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And of course, follow us on your favorite social media. So, with that being said, all the best with your examinations. So, bye-bye.